There's a frugality and a resourcefulness and a form of ingenuity that has always been part of good art practice. Artists and designers by nature have to have understanding of sustainability. Design is about working with the nature of one's limited resources. As the only freestanding, publicly funded art and design school in the country, I think it's uh, our obligation to also be a leader as much as possible in the sustainability area, to be that world citizen that uh, leads the charge. We took a tour of the place, interviewed her, and we found that um, the biggest issue for them was kind of like the blueprints and how many like stacks of them are used every day. And they waste so much paper. I mean, that's just one architect, like one floor would be like a stack like this. So could you imagine like a whole, a whole building? Every day. So here's a foldable, flexible screen that an architect could use. They would save time, it would be more efficient, and it would save a lot of paper. This class is called Interdisciplinary Projects and Sustainability. The idea is really this kind of rich studio laboratory setting for students to focus on um, the challenges and complexities of sustainability in an interdisciplinary conversation. I'm working on this project called the Trash Pack. So I'm collecting my waste daily for a week in this backpack that I'm creating. It's clear and it's color coded. So I have a section for recycling, I have a section for trash, and I have a section for compost. You are challenging us to imagine ourselves as the beast of burden of all of our waste, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. that is one of the biggest really fields in sustainability is water. Water is often filled with impurities, and we wanted to find solutions to that. This is one of our water purification experiments. It uses atmospheric pressure and passive solar, passive solar gain to moisturize the soil. We had industrial design students helping carve the blue foam. We had glass blowers helping make the domes. We even had illustration help us illustrate the final work. I'm beginning a, a collection on zero waste, and it's based on upcycling. So I started with um, uh, an inexpensive handbag that I had for years, and that's why sustainable fashion is so incredible because it just it totally transforms even as it goes our new residence hall just opened a little over a year ago we're on track to be lead silver at the end of the day we think we're going to get the lead gold which will be really exciting especially for a high rise in the middle of boston Right now, we're in the middle of construction for our new design and media center. We've chosen, I think, sustainable practices, both in the construction practices, but also in the materials. I think the most important thing, actually, is that we're not expanding the footprint significantly of the institution. We're actually reusing and repurposing existing space. On our energy conservation, we're trying to source alternatives to uh, coal-fired production. We just signed a deal on adding solar as a opportunity for the institution and that uh, will actually be an underpinning for any future consumption on the electrical side. Since we signed the ACUPCC in 2007, we have been able to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 15%. Uh, the boilers have new controls which are automated to make the combustion process as efficient as possible. To reduce electricity, we have introduced 1,500 LED light bulbs throughout campus. We have added auto bottle filling stations and introduced a clean organics collection system in the back of our cafeteria. We have been able to divert upwards of 25% of our total waste into single stream recycling. The ReStore is a place where uh, people can come and bring things that they don't need, especially art supplies. Uh, so that people who do need them can take them and use them. In a world that is changing in ways that we never ever imagined, we want to educate our students to be leaders, but not just to be leaders, to be change agents. It is by a formula of extremely close and careful stewardship of financial resources and environmental resources that we are able to both provide the quality of education that we do and that we have flourished for 140 years.